uh, average nobody's reviews. It's my first review on the new Motorola Razr A. This was released on the on in October 2012. Yep. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the pros and cons on, of this phone. Mostly pros, but some cons. So, so if you guys consider bu buying the phone, might, um, this might help you get your um, make your choice. Um, yep. So um, let's go through the pros. So first thing you notice, massive screen. Um, just really big, really nice, sharp, no lag at all. Um, yeah, that's just a massive screen. Um, yeah, so another pro. Um, this it's really slim. Okay, that they've done something clever here. They've made this side thinner than this side, as you might might notice. Yeah, that side's thinner than that side. So, um, because most of the hardware's up here and stuff, and all the I don't know how they make a phone, but you know. Um, so yeah, so they've this is just they've put all, everything up here. I think that's. Um, quite good because the big phone, bigger um, bigger screen than the iPhones and things. Um, um, yeah, so they can put they can make it thinner. Well, I know the iPhone five is thinner, but M Motorola isn't um, the best. Um, it's kind of a new company, or well, not new company, but new for smartphones. Really, iPhone's been doing them for ages. Um, but they done they got it bang on here on, on this phone for the price really. Um they have six hundred quid for a or five hundred quid for an iPhone. Um the um the camera is also really good. It's I think fourteen megapixels, don't trust me on that, I'm not sure. You can do your homework in um and research that if you really care that much. Um yeah, and you've got a dedicated camera button right there. You pre press that button there, it takes you right to this, the camera screen. You can even do it from there, just even from the when it's um, off, unlike the iPhone. Yeah, the ca the it's quite good quality. You probably can't see it because it's camera through camera, not normally that good. Um, yeah, so that's the camera. Also a good thing, no borders except these um, edges right around here. Um, the it's good they don't have um, borders like iPhone that has like really thick borders and makes the screen smaller. If they didn't have borders, they could have a big screen like this. But they decide to have borders to be indie and stuff and shit. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to break the back. As you can see, they emphasised the hardness of it in the advert on mo the first razor, um, and they, because um, you might remember the advert, it was like they were in a pool and they were, um, it was like getting knocked around and got water on it and stuff. And yeah, this is an improvement on that. It's got um, water resistant back, really hard back. Pro might not be able to break it. Um, you could break it if you really want to. I would not advise that. Um, yep. Mm, I think that's all the pros. Yep. Okay. Um, some cons. That, that they're little things. They're not big things. Some of them are, but so there's only four. So um, it's and it's not Android Jelly Bean, unfortunately, yet. Okay, maybe when you get it, it might be you have to see, um, do like research it or something. Um, when you're watching this video, I don't know. Um, yeah. So this um, it's on ice cream sandwich at the moment. It's not Jelly Bean, as you can see. There, it should be updated soon. I don't know it. I haven't heard any news about it. I haven't really researched it recently. 
it's not that much of a deal to be honest it's 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 okay like this that it would be good if it was jelly bean but not the end of the world okay um got a little little thing okay it's not any big deal at all i'm not sure if you can see this but this kind of sticks out and um, i pay a lot of attention to detail but this thing that that holds the SD card and SIM card, micro SD card by the way. Um, yeah, no, um, yeah, micro SD card and micro SIM. Um, so yeah, if you can't have a mic, you can't have a normal SIM in this. So you have to have a micro SIM. So um, yeah, you'd have to if you're on a contract and you just want to buy this phone without being on a contract, um, free with contract. I would advise you to. Um, get it on a contract because you're, you'd have to, with your people, you'd have to request that you get a new sim that is micro um, sim, so the micro sim just is a smaller version of the normal sim, so we're different, I don't really understand why they do it. And the cost, the last con is the cost, okay, it's £320 when I got it, it's quite a lot of money. I, I've never spent that much money on a phone. I know. I guess if you, if this is your alternative to an a an iPhone, I guess it's pretty cheap. But it's it's good for what it's worth. But it's just a quite expensive. I I bought I got it on contract. I got it's phones for you. It's really good deal. Okay, I got hundred minutes unlimited text, which is three thousand. But that's, um, so it's not unlimited. But I know you know um. And 500 megabits um, bytes of internet data, and the phone was free for 20 pound a month. It's a pretty good deal if you just um, you can get um, go on the website, check it out, check that deal out. Um, yep. So my overall rating of this up um, one to ten is nine. The it, I would give it 10, but you, you can see that all the little details, or well, they're not all little, but you know, um, all, all the cons take.